And welcome to episode, well no, it's not episodes anymore, issue 12 of Nerdflow. I'm Royalty. It's your girl Tink. And your boy Checkmate back in the building. And yo, it's your boy Young Fly in the rest. Man, you sound sleepy as hell. <laughs> Death and zombie is like right around the corner. <laughs> I'm tell y'all something. I'm, I'm work. I'm working out for two hours of sleep in between today and yesterday. So, oh uh, no, uh, uh, Mr. Big Boy Pants on. Uh, what a change. <laughs> Too bad you can't wear uh, big boy pants, uh, they do. Hey, I don't, I don't need to. I don't need to. I don't need to. Damn, damn it. You still shopping out the kids <laughs> section? You and your son share hey, clothes. Hey, hey, it's cheaper. <laughs> hey, it's goddamn right. It's cheaper, it's cheaper that way. <laughs> Instead of buy for two, I buy for one. <laughs> <laughs> you want my Gap card so you can go shop at Baby Gap? Well, I can hear you. I can hear you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <That's> <laughs> you knew you was always krilling. Oh, no one knew that. No one knew that. You know, I know I'm Vegeta. Small, but I explode in your mother. <laughs> no, you're not tall enough to be Vegeta. <laughs> Uh, Speaking of hey. Vegeta, Vegeta know, is going to be Mr. in the Mr. building. Popo. He's going to be at Mississippi Comic Con. That's dope. Man, I saw the picture of that guy. I'm like, I can't believe he sounded like that. It's weird. Yeah. It's weird to see like to see voice actors in person because <clears throat> they just I don't know. They just they look weird compared to like man, that voice comes out of there. I, the character, I dude yeah. That played. I think the dude that plays Vegeta also plays yeah. Piccolo. He does. He does. He does a lot of characters. Um, yeah, he does a lot of characters on um, Dragon Ball. They either pay him a lot or they got a really tight budget. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> you paying that many Because I think they don't have that many people working for them on this show. Like a lot of the, a lot of the voice actors double up on voices. So they Some schizo triple up on voices. So they schizo. That's what you're telling me. <laughs> Pretty much. No bipolar. Different personality. Uh, hey. For real. <clears throat> all right, man. If y'all didn't realize, this is a podcast all about video games, comic books, anime. Issue twelve. Uh, before we get into the, you know, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot of video game stuff. So if you are. Uh, Video game here, you're gonna love this episode. Got a lot of stuff to talk about in video games. <clears throat> We're gonna bounce around a little bit. We're not gonna do the normal format that we normally do. Um, but uh, first, um, if you would like to support this podcast, uh, you can go to patreon.com forward slash nerdflow. Uh, you can gain early access to episodes like this, uh, get bonus episodes like Spitting Game, Anime Rundown, and you can also gain access to special monthly giveaways like loot crate boxes that we will be doing next week at comic palooza which we will be there um and that's a great segue into uh, our loot crate um sponsorship which you can go to try com forward slash nerdflow you can get 10 percent off your first crate using the promo code bridge 10 this week's this month's theme is actually is guardians month so you get you'll get a mixture of things from star wars destiny the goonies and Guardians of the Galaxy, which comes out this Friday. Um, I will be there. Oh, that's right. You just said you're going. I'm going to try to go that's to the internet, which, man, because <clears throat> Comic Palooza will be having an event, so I'm going to try to show with well, the Air t-shirt on. You know. I'll be there. I'll be there in, in lame old Greenville, going to the weak-ass movie theater <laughs> to get that high-ass popcorn I'll and be that fire-ass slushie. It is like nine million dollars for two people. You know? I know, right? I mean, damn. I feel like I feel like in small towns, movie theaters should be like it should be right. like five dollars. Well, to the good thing is, movie, the good thing is now should be a dollar. The good thing is now most movies they're the theater for like a month, and then a month later it's on Blu-ray. So I was like, all right, cool. I just wait two months, and I'll just buy on Blu-ray. <laughs> exactly. I'm sorry, but stuff like Star Wars, I gotta go watch it in the movies. Right. Like all the like superhero movies and stuff like that, I gotta uh, go see it in the movies because people are yep. like people uh, spoil it for you, so you gotta go yeah. watch it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Depending on the movie, yeah, you're right. Man, you know what I do hate though about the movie theaters now? Can we like? Can I like? Can we like? Please, like, I think 3D is not a thing anymore. 
And they're not even pushing yeah. it on TVs anymore. Can I get like regular IMAX now for Marvel movies, please? Just saying. <laughs> that would be great. Plus, like, <clears throat> like, 3D sucks, especially if you're a person like me that wears glasses. Like, you can't even enjoy the 3D because you can't put the glasses over your glasses. Yeah, if you have a TV, uh, I mean, oh, yeah, have a TV mean, you can, but movie theater, no, you can't. I mean, uh, I don't know about y'all, but all our theories wear glasses. They got the little clip on shit to put on, on your glasses. So, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm just saying. No, so when I, I, like, I, I, I ain't had a problem with it. And I wear my glasses. Man, when I went to Disney World, man, Disney gave you the thick ass plastic. Yeah, right, they do. They do. Yep. Man, as much as you pay to get in Disney, man, you should get freaking 3D Ray Bands. Man, what? And man, then, what? And then exactly. they want them back. That's the thing. They want them back. Yeah, like, no, I think mean, he's I mean, a souvenir. Hey, give it back. What? Yeah, give it back. <laughs> I already paid you like $14 million to get in here. What the hell? I know. They were, I'm sorry. They were adamant. <laughs> no, sir. You have to put those back. You have to put these in the bin. I'm like, damn, a month when I yeah, pay to come here? <laughs> yeah, I know. I, man, I'm like, man, I told you a bag of chips like $4. It's like 25 cents yeah. size and everything. And don't order, don't, don't order from like your resort where they serve the food at in your resort. Don't order from oh, there, man. like, man. Oh, oh dude, breakfast, man. Nothing. Forget about it. <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, I did, like, you know, you got a little guy around there that deliver pizza. So it was just so happens. I was just standing outside and I stopped him. I was like, yo, dog, uh, you know, how much a large pizza is? And he was like, man, like twenty five dollars. I was like, fuck that. He was like, I got one yeah. right here. The folks didn't wanna didn't want it. I got one right here. I was like he was like, Man, give me ten dollars, you can have it. I, I like ain't gonna lie, I, did, I ain't gonna lie, I did pay seven dollars for a turkey leg though. That turkey leg was worth it. Yes, I did that too. I ain't gonna be <laughs> lying. I mean that turkey leg was like I was like, all right, all right, bet. And, and the turkey leg was like, like something you see in Game of Thrones. Man, what? Like a, di- like a dinosaur leg. Like, like, you said it's a turkey? There's no turkey. It's a dinosaur. Like, cool. You can keep between yeah. me and dinosaur. <laughs> Just go ahead and tell me this brontosaurus leg. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then I paid it's all the money for a pretzel. Not it's to mention way. the dough whip. Don't forget oh, yeah. the dough whip. I had a, I had a dough whip like twice a day. Man, yep. And the thing is, they, they they know you're gonna buy because like you ain't gonna starve, nigga. You gonna eat, right? <laughs> and then you know the bad part is when you go in the summer, you think you're gonna be smart, be like, yo, I'm gonna freeze me yeah. some water, put it in my backpack. Yeah. Nope, 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 <laughs> no. Nope. Ain't going. That water <laughs> go milk fast, get hot. Yeah. Yeah. And then you and want you want some cold to drink, and you, you stuck. You either got to go yep. to one of them little concession stands and yep. pay $4 for a bottle of water or your mouth <laughs> going to be dry. Unless you got a portable refrigerator ain't going. <laughs> no, right? I, I try to get smart. I brought my backpack. I threw a, I wrapped the water up in full, but like when I wrapped the water up, I put an ice pack in there too. You know, trying you, to keep it cold. Yeah. The ping went in there. You ain't, ain't that happening. Bro, you need a Yeti. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, yep. I know. Like a real I know Yeti. Now, like when we when I go back, I'm gonna have the Yeti. <laughs> you need a real Yeti on your back. Hold your, hold, hold your shit. Hey, hold this. Hold Keep your coat for Put this under your arm. <laughs> Don't move. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. You're real MVP. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, y'all, let's go, man. All right, man. Um, <clears throat> before we get into uh, before we get into topics, man, like I said before, uh, we're going to be a coming palooza on next uh, what, next Friday um, through the 12th and the 14th. Uh, we'll be there Saturday, no, Friday and Saturday. Uh, it'll be at the Houston, Texas. It'll be in Houston, Texas at the George R. Brown Convention Center. Uh, some new guests they announced today was um, – Vicky Guerrero, which is actually the late wife of the wrestler Eddie Guerrero, she'll be there. And she actually stays in Houston. Um, Sam James Jones, which is uh, used to be the Flash Gordon from back in the day. Uh, Christy oh. Carson Romano, which she played uh, Kim Possible. Even Stevens and Christmas All Over Again. David Fitch, he um, illustrated uh, Batman, Wonder Woman, The New Avengers, and Ultimate X-Men comics. And Doug Hazelwood, which did the Death of Superman Animal, Animal Man, The Flash, and Wonder Woman. So, if you guys haven't picked up your tickets and your VIP passes, please make sure you go to comepalooza.com. 
Make sure you go check those out. They got all different type of passes from Power Rangers, Walking Dead, uh, Defenders passes, like all different. Things. You got the special passes give you like photo op and autographs uh, with all the different um, theme passes that they'll be offering. So make sure you guys go check out Comicpalooza for those for those tickets. All right, man. Um, <clears throat> again, like I said before, man, we're not doing a different format where we jump video games, anime, and comic books. We're going to jump around a little bit. It's just trying to change things up. Keep you guys on your toes. Um, <laughs> we're going to go <laughs> first with, um, Call of Duty. So Call of Duty, World at War, not World at War. I want to say World at War every time I see WW. Uh, yeah, World War Two. Um, they did, they launched a trailer on last Wednesday. Uh, for the new game that's coming out in November. Um, so I want to get everybody's feelings on the trailer as far as what they thought. Well, I was like, I don't care about the trailer, but um, uh, <laughs> I'm a little excited about it. I'm, not, I'm a little excited about the entire game because I think they're going to do a pretty good job on it. So yeah. I'm, 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 I'm ready for it. But at the same time, it's going to be the same old, same old. It's World <clears throat> War II for Call of Duty. Now, I did hear some stuff from, uh, I know some of the correspondents from IGN, they were talking about it. I know one of the, um, one of the guys, one of the editors from IGN got a chance to see a little bit more before the trailer came out. Um, kind of what the description he gave about, uh, this new Call of Duty is one thing they did take away. They took away, they're taking away the regen bar. So your health regen doesn't go back up when you're, if you're in a firefight, like if you get killed, you get killed. There ain't no regen. Like you got to try to find what they, what he said, what happens is, um, you have a medic with you and you have to go to your medic to, to heal up is basically what you have to do. There's no regen anymore in this, well, in this particular time, there won't be oh, wow. any health regen. Um, they're treating war, um, more like a horror type thing. So it's going to have more of a, like a, a lack of resources. You're going to, you're not going to have a lot of ammo and stuff like that. You're going to have to, you trade off ammo between your teammates that you play, that you, that you're going through the whole experience with. So you'll ask like Joe, Hey, I need an ammo pack. You're not going to just have unlimited ammo or picking up ammo as you go along through the actual campaign. So take oh, a different approach. Oh, you said through the campaign. What about as far as, uh, multiplayer? multiplayer, they haven't given a whole lot on multiplayer. The only piece they did share was that, um, kind of like an MMO or like Destiny for example um, they will have like a social space for multiplayer so uh, I don't know if you guys watched the video I sent and the guy showed like it's like a like an open like um, army camp and it shows like different it showed like all the different people that were in the actual space itself. it holds up to like in the social space there'll be different social space because it'll be different servers but the, each social space will hold up to 40 players so I guess you can meet up with people in there or wait on people while instead of just staring at a screen and looking at gamer tags, waiting on people or hearing people freaking yelling in their microphone like they always do in Call of Duty. Um, you can actually, you know, that's be why you mute the mics. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But I'm saying it was an actual like living space that you, you know, you can get your guy, get your team, get your teammates together and actually before you jump into a game. So it's a little bit of a different take. They're trying to, it's like they're trying to, trying to do something different i really do like the aspect that when they described it there was like it's i mean war is going to be more like of a horror type thing it's gonna like i said it's gonna be limited resources so that kind of brings a different feel to to the game itself but again of course everybody wants to see we want to see multiplayer which i got a feeling like i said they're gonna probably show that at e3 on the playstation uh during the playstation e3 event because that's who they got the exclusive deal with so um let's see Trying to think, anything else from Call of Duty? We move on. Uh, they said too much about zombie yet, which is kind of odd. Yeah, they just mentioned they just gave like a screen. There was a screenshot <clears throat> on Twitter of like a zombie. I mean, which I guess they just just kind of like said, okay, there are gonna be zombies in this game still. So I mean, at least that that I guess you can say that kind of confirm uh, the mode for uh, the zombie mode for Call of Duty, which is very popular. Yeah. So. Shoot, there was a guy yeah, that was actually a yeah. correspondent because all he does, he's a YouTube, uh, he's a YouTuber, and all he does is stream is just Call of Duty uh, zombie gameplay. So, and they invited him to come to the thing to be a correspondent. So I'm like, man, why not me, man? Why not oh. me? <clears throat> no, no. Uh, 
then we got uh injustice too so injustice is about to come out in about two weeks yeah roughly yeah roughly about two weeks um injustice too so they announced some other players i know everybody i know people were contemplating like you know where's the joker and stuff like that so uh they did reveal um gameplay for the joker um in a reveal trailer and they also showed off um well i don't think it was necessarily wb who showed off this footage for dark side but dark side has a freaking crazy super move in this injustice 2 game um i hope they, I hope they all go like super crazy on what they are uh, combo super moves so. yeah a lot of the ones i've seen so far they're pretty they're pretty uh they're pretty out there um now the joker joker on this one is a little bit different from the previous injustice it's not like your traditional the character build is still kind of tall, stuff like that. It kind of resembles a little bit more. It's kind of more on the Suicide Squad, like the movie Suicide Squad, uh, Joker, a little bit. The, 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 the character sucks. model. I know you're a fan of. You didn't, of course not. He's not gonna look. He's not gonna look like the original Batman. Uh, what's the guy's name? Um, damn dude's name. Uh, Come you on, mean you know like Jack Nicholas? Yeah, he's not gonna look like Jack Nicholson's Joker. Uh. I know that's what you want. No, that's <laughs> not what I want. I want the Joker like off uh, the Batman animated series that we grew up on. I mean, that's still possible. Oh, yeah, I like that one. That's still possible because, I mean, think about if you if you play the last Injustice game, they got skins upon skins upon skins for these different characters, so they can come out with yeah. they can do they can do packs where you okay you can get the and Batman the animated series. Uh, Joker or something like that. They can have that different costume for the character. I mean, they were adding like Man of Steel, Superman in the past Injustice, and you had Zod on the game, but then you also had the Man of Steel Zod. So it's po- it's still possible. I mean, that's just the default version that you'll be getting with the game, of course. But um, yeah, I know what though. Like real talk, I really, really like disappointing in the coma. In which are oh, you talking about in um Street Fighter? Yeah, I'm really disappointed in Nakuma. Why is that? Like, I play Street Fighter on like I play Street Fighter on hard, right? And like they made Akuma like over the top, like like I played on hard and it was too easy, and that that was disappointing to me. Like it was just too easy to do. Everything with a coma duck. Like if somebody playing with a coma, they gon' they gonna blast you. Like you gotta you gotta pick a coma to, to fight against a coma. All right. I mean I mean, that's just me. Y'all y'all might not care. No, some of the um <laughs> uh, <clears throat> No, some fighting right some fighting right. games lately have not up, been up. huh? No, I was gonna say. Um, I said some <laughs> fighting games, like some of the fighting games lately, have not been as tough. Yeah, like like it used to be, man. Like when you would scale up a game and put it on, you know, like hard or very hard or something like that. Man, you would get you wouldn't even get a punch yeah, in. Like destroyed. they just lock you in the corner and just like go in on you. And and now a lot of games, like I can give you an example. Like I play Kill Instinct on Xbox One. And I've raised the difficulty up, and it's not that much, you know. I don't feel of a challenge when I um, when I play on a hard setting. So it's like, hey, what's the point? I just play on medium. Um, but yeah, I feel that type of way. Now, Mortal Kombat is a whole different thing. You turn that suck up, oh, you will get eight alive on Mortal Kombat. <laughs> that is no joke. <laughs> I've done it too many times to mess around. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna turn this back down a little bit. This is a little bit too much. And you know, that's the thing. Like with Mortal Kombat, like. It's to me with Mortal Kombat, they tried to make it too technical. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like with Mortal Kombat, you have to like it's you got to fight like you're actually fighting. Like it's almost like you in virtual reality, and you need the things connected to you, and you fighting yourself. But wouldn't but ain't that what the and that was fighting ain't supposed to be though? Supposed to be like a simulation, pretty much. Is. Exactly. <clears throat> There you go. There you go. There you go. Tell him. Tell him. Because, like, I mean, because 
I mean, because like think about Street Fighter. Like a lot of times, the real good people that play Street Fighter competitively, they're using the D pads, like the actual, like the actual full blown big ass controllers. Yeah, the arcade ones. Yeah, the arcade controllers. Yeah. The ones yeah. that are really good. Because you will kill your controller. Man, you remember how many controllers you probably broke back in the day on Sega trying to play Street Fighter? How many buttons? But you, but you know what? That came from that came from us trying to instead of pushing down forward, you rubbing the buttons. buttons. Yeah, you yeah, rubbing and you killing, of, you rubbing the crap out of the freaking D pad because you got like eighty million directions to turn the character before you can freaking do a freaking <laughs> freaking special move. Yep. But see now, you know, after you didn't play for a while, you know how to, you know, like now I can play, I can hit down forward, down, and a kick button, and it's you know it's gonna do the move I want. I ain't gotta be rubbing my joystick and pushing all the buttons at the same time. Like back then, we was just doing it because we didn't even know how to do it right. We didn't know what uh, uh how to hold the buttons and stuff. Yeah, like unless that. you had the yeah, unless you had like the strategy guy. That's on where you really really kind of new <clears throat> i mean analogs have made that made that process a little bit easier, but they've also made like you know change i, I can't like use that. the analog in a fighting game i can i can use analog <laughs> i'm i shoot when i play marvel's capcom when i was playing for um friday uh friday night fights i was using that i use analog all the time on those, on those games it, i just feel it's easier to like uh to jump and move with, with my analog honestly that's just me and then as far as oh, sorry. as far as I'm doing those moves that have like about four or five different directions you have to enter in to actually hit a move it's much easier just to roll it and just in all the move automatically just comes out that way I, I for some reason man it just works better with the pad for me when it comes to fighting games like we like pads <laughs> <laughs> you are you are a bad person. Yeah. Yeah. Oh <laughs> man, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> that's about a nice way that's about a nice way to put that. Just a pad man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about the Lakers? <laughs> they like you. Uh what? Shitty. Killing, these guys. Killing, killing like a villain. <laughs> shitty. You shitty shit. <laughs> All right. <man>. Anyway, uh, <laughs> next up. So uh, I do have a comment. I do have a comment on what I'm playing right now because I feel like it should be shared for all those who are missing out on it. Persona 5 is, uh, uh, well, I'd say probably, definitely, more than likely is. Uh, the best RPG I've ever played in my life. And I said a lot because I play a lot of RPGs. But, and I say that because I put uh, about 36 hours into it and um, uh, I got another 80 some plus hours to go. That sounds like uh, uh, Young and Neo. <laughs> uh, which is, a, which is a, a guarantee. A guarantee. And it's only because there's so much to do. Not because there's so much like random other side quests and stuff to do. Because, I mean, I don't know. The game different. It's different than any any game, any RPG I played, but I feel like anybody that hasn't played it should definitely give it at least. Now, uh, speaking of RPG, oh, I, RPGs. Oh, yeah, I wasn't talking. Yeah, I wasn't talking. That's cool. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah. This, I'll yeah, give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, I know you don't. Speaking of RPGs. Anyway. Yeah, go ahead, Jack. Uh, <laughs> Jack Frost, go ahead. See, man, that's that little man complex. Yeah, that's that Jack Frost complex. I'm chubby and cold. He, man, he's still he's still angry because he can't he got need a step stool to get Siri off the top of the thing. No, uh, no, I'm angry. I'm angry. Actually, first of all, it's a thug ladder. Pat pat pat. First of all, you're right here. <laughs> the quick steps. I don't even see how you drive. You got the seat pulled all the way up to the seat sitting on books, huh? Anyway. Uh, my car my, my car got this button where you push and it kinda like raise you up a little bit. Yeah. Anyway. Mm-mm. Yeah, you just max it out too. Like Vince, <laughs> let everybody know, man. Chick make like two eleven. He should have been an Italian because <laughs> he talk a lot of shit and he can't even open. He can't even open the dead boat on the door. Man, I will whoop your soul at your body. But anyway, go ahead. <laughs> anyway, speaking of RPGs, before I really interrupted. 
Oh. Yeah, I, yeah, I was like, interrupted. Okay. Baruto. Anyway, uh, I'm in this group on Facebook where we talk about anime and games and stuff like that. And uh, this dude started the biggest argument I've ever been in on, you know, social media. And I just want to get y'all opinion. He said that Final Fantasy twelve is the greatest Final Fantasy ever. Oh gosh. I mean it's not, but that's his opinion. I disagree. I mean, you know, I mean if if he wanna be stupid, you know, <laughs> yeah. be stupid. You know, he said be, no, he said no I don't know if he, stupid. I don't know, because the one dude said one dude came on there and said, Dude, you must be high. Final <laughs> Fantasy seven is the greatest one ever. It's like he was one. like, No Final Fantasy character beats Cloud. Dude said Cloud is the worst Final Fantasy character ever. Nah, the only one I think could be could be Cloud is Titus on Final Fantasy Ten. I think Final Fantasy Ten is close to being my favorite Final Fantasy ever. You know. Hmm. I just wanted to get y'all opinion on it. Okay, so yeah, like twelve, the twelve story was probably like the best, almost the best out of all of them. Okay, so when did Final Fantasy twelve come out? Oh, let's look at this up real quick. Uh, it came out a few moons, a couple of moons ago. Feel like it came out maybe thirty years ago. Shit. Yeah, Final crazy. Fantasy twelve came out in two thousand and six. Okay, this must be a freaking yeah. um, must be somebody from Generation Z. He must be a youngin for him to think that because yeah. he he would he it's wouldn't even, he wouldn't even thought of when Final Fantasy seven was out. That's why he don't think it's great. But guarantee you, once that sucker drop next year. <laughs> Doing even a thought, cuz. Because <laughs> what year Final Fantasy VII came out? Like, 99? It came out many moons. Yeah, about 90, 95, something right there. Something around there. No, 90, 98, something right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know, I know it came out on PlayStation. I, I had a regular PlayStation when it came out. Yeah. I had the big PlayStation. That big like, motherfucker. It, it came with, like, 80 encyclopedia discs. Yeah, it, uh, yeah. 90, 97. <laughs> It came out ninety seven. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's a whole yeah, almost a whole game, just... ten years from the game that he's oh, talking about. Wow. So he must have been like ten years old playing that so, game. So clearly, <laughs> he never played Final Fantasy seven. That's Thank all you. Yeah, that's what yeah, that was. Me. And then think about it, like that old PlayStation. That was the one you got to. Why PlayStation don't do sample discs no more? <laughs> Man, why the industry don't do demos no more? Came with demo discs in there. That shit was dope. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we were playing Twisted Metal and man, Tomb what? Raider I, and Spyro. Spyro. I will play. I will play a demo this for six man, months. And I played the hell out of the demo this the first time I got my PlayStation. <laughs> man, fuck, a, fuck a demo, nigga. This is my game. It's no demo. Man, I was <laughs> playing Tekken and shoot, man. It was so man, many. Uh, Bushido <laughs> Blade. Yo. The same, same four characters for four months. I'm I'll tell you, you know, that, y'all, y'all remember that uh, game, that block game, where you had to flip a block mm-hmm. to get yep. to the end of the st- uh, Parappa the Rapper, oh, yeah. Tomb Raider, one, one, one stage in Tomb Raider. Oh, oh man, yep, in the, the same world. Level. Mm-hmm. Yep. Every time. Man, boys used to buy PlayStation mm-hmm. magazines just to get a demo disc out of it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm like, what? Got another one? Got another got, one. Got some more demos to play. Say, Ain't got no real game tell, yet. I'm going to tell y'all, so this is how my mom used to be. We were like, Mom, can we get this game right here? And she said, ain't y'all playing it? It was like, nah, this is a demo. It only lets you play <laughs> yeah. one stage. Well, you motherfuckers better play that one stage then. Yeah. <laughs> like, That's true. Like, you better master like, this damn. stage. <laughs> Dug it. That you something. <laughs> You like, ah, damn, man. Me and my brother used to look at each other like, shit. Well, <laughs> might as well put Crab Bandicoot back in. <laughs> <laughs> might as well beat this level for the six or seven times. For real. Freaking you know speed running dog like, on stage. <laughs> we done, I'm saying we didn't beat Crash. Like, me and my brother beat Crash the first day we uh-huh. got the PlayStation. <laughs> I can see that being possible. Yeah, that, that's possible. And we got it for Christmas, and we sat there that Christmas day on December twenty fifth, nineteen ninety seven, and beat Crash Bandicoot. Man, <clears throat> that's so crazy! And the funny thing is, the the same <laughs> Crash you played freaking what twenty years 20 ago years is ago. coming out next month. No, yeah, it is next month, June. Yeah, yeah really? I seen the changes they made to it though. I like the changes they made. Yeah, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm definitely gonna pick it up. They need to do Spyro like that too. They've been talking yeah. about. They've been talking about Spyro. Fuck that, need to do Jack. 
Jack. Well, Jack. Jack well, oh yeah. Well, here's Please what. Here's some Jack information Jackson. about Jack. If I think they said something about either if you pre-order the uh, Crash Bandicoot, you get early access to them because you you know they re releasing all the Jacks in high definition for PS4. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, that, yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, you was in the hospital then, but yeah, all the Jacks are coming out. One, two, three, and the racing one, all in a um, HD remastered for PS4. Uh, and, and if man, you know what? I don't know if y'all remember this game. Maybe I, I was the only one that had it. A game called Pandemonium. I it remember that. Like, I re- dude, I re- I never played it, but I remember. I used to see that game all the time. I'm like, I don't know what this game is, but I ain't gonna buy it because I don't know what it is. Yo, that game that was <laughs> so tight. Like Pandemonium yeah, and Pandemonium Two. Mm-hmm. Then yeah, the game. I remember oh, I had bought about um. Cause I had beat Resident Evil, so I was just like, I want another game, kind of like Resident Evil. So I went and bought Parasite Eve, and the first one sucked. So when the second one came out, I tried to give it a chance. Man, I got Parasite Eve too, man. That's my favorite. Uh, what do you call them games? Survival. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, survival RPG. Yeah, survival survival game. Yeah. Yeah, Parasite Eve to this day is my favorite one. Still, I can see that, but I ain't, I ain't, I ain't doing that. No, I'm straight. I ain't doing that. Um, man, you know what? Man, who remember who had Jet Moto? I used to play the hell oh, out of Jet Moto. Oh, I used to play some hell out of some Jet, hell Moto. Jet Moto. I know. I said it. I said at Royalty <laughs> House and beat. Um, <laughs> was that? Um, what I said at your house. Uh, Dante. Um, oh, Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry too. Man, oh, I love the, Devil May. Man, yeah. it used to Devil be some mini. Awesome. I know me and Checkmate, man, we would sit through freaking, we played the freaking entire Halo 1 in one sitting. Man. <laughs> Took the whole day. Oh. Oh, every difficult level. For real. Freaking going through the library, freaking getting attacked by the flood, and like, man. <laughs> you I, had this other game too that I, I hated. It was on Xbox. Was it brute it force? Like, I, know, I, used, I picked. I remember I picked up brute force from like um. No, nah, it was a game that like everybody could play at one mm-hmm. time. It was kind of like Mario Party. Um, oh, I know the one you're talking about. It was, oh yeah, I, it was like a party game. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that shit was great. I, I hated that game because you love. You kept losing, you whack motherfucker. <laughs> Ooh, when you're trash, you're trash. I know you're gonna do about it, but you be trash. I'm trying to be civil, man. I'm really. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, you know, shit. I get fucked up on, 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 on mess with it. You know, like I don't like it. You know, why I don't like it because I'm not good at it. So yeah, you should, you should, you should leave it alone. Oh, <laughs> man, that's the next time before I choke this little motherfucker, uh, Mr. Mr. Pan, Mr. Pandemonium. All right, man. Oh, uh, Mario Kart Eight. Mario Kart Eight Del- Deluxe came out this past Tuesday. Um. Been hearing great things about this Mario Kart though. They say it was the fastest selling Mario Kart of all time. Not the beast Mario Kart sixty four. <laughs> well, Mario Kart eight deluxe just did. I know. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, but this is what's tripping me out though. I read an article that said that Zelda Into the Wild is selling more than the Switch itself. How is that game selling more than the Switch? How is we you? How is the Switch? Oh, one two Switch. How's it selling more than Zelda? No, how does oh. how is Zelda selling more than the more Switch? than the Switch? Because Zelda people probably buying multiple too. copies, putting them on eBay. <laughs> no, but saying it's on Wii U too. Saying, oh, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. That is right. So right. yeah, there you go. That's your answer right there. I mean that. I mean that Zelda game, man. That's a that is an, a, a straight amazing. up like console. What they call a console seller. That particular game it's is amazing. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to get me a Wii U. Um, <clears throat> so I can play it. Take the money. Definitely wait. Oh, so you're not going with the Switch? Hmm. You're not going with the Switch? Did I say Wii U? I meant Switch. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> that was. I don't know what. Th- thank you for correcting me because I will not ever buy Wii U. No, never. Um, <clears throat> with the keep with the theme with Nintendo. Um, Nintendo uh, announced the 2DS XL. Um, this past Friday. Um, That's so awesome. It looks, yeah, it looks really good. I think this might yeah. be the first time I might actually pick up me a um, a DS because I mean, yeah, DS worth it. 
the 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 PS the PS Indie Machine, which is the PS Vita. I just did, yeah. I traded mine in a long time ago. I just yeah, I can't, indeed, I can't yeah. do the indie games, man. I mean, I was hoping for like some big titles, but that never happened. So, and my my niece got a 3DS for Christmas, and it came with Super Mario, the one that came on um, Super Nintendo. Mm-hmm. And I I played that game more than my niece did, you know, yeah, while I was still. Because I, I sat there and beat that game. And my niece when, was when so I, mad at me. When, <laughs> when Nintendo Classic, Nintendo uh, Store is dope because they got every Mario in there. Yeah, they, it Man. plays, um, it plays, I can't think of all the games all the time, but it, play, it plays the pretty much majority of the library of the DS itself. So you got a lot of games to choose from. Um, they added what's called a C stick and some uh, top bumpers, which are called ZL and ZR. So like your R one L one type bumpers on there too. Those are new. And yeah, the three DS got it there too, though. Yeah, the three DS had it. Yeah. yeah. They were saying something the about it's custom. Rate. They were saying something about it's customizable or something like that. The reason why they kind of mentioned it in the uh, in the ad, and then the screen is like eighty two percent larger than the previous one. So. <clears throat> it's gonna come out. It comes out cool. July twenty eighth. Uh, it'll be one forty nine. So, oh yeah, I might so, just buy it. Yeah, that's what okay. when I heard, when I heard that price, I was like, yeah, I might cop that. I might get that. Sticking with Nintendo, mm-hmm. you know the the mini NES original that they had released. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're discontinuing those. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. They, it, it, after two million sales, they're discontinuing it, and I still never saw one in the store. <laughs> Never oh, yeah. saw one in the yeah. store. I think I oh, saw yeah. one, but I just yeah. wasn't. I mean, I have, I still have the original Nintendo, so I wasn't really too interested in. I still got mine too, but at the same time, I wanted it, so I ain't got to go in there blowing and slapping tapes. Well, yeah, <laughs> that, and then or you just buy, or you just buy a Switch, and you just go on the eShop and just buy the throwback version. I ain't want to do all of that. I'm just saying, man. You want the update? I want the, I want the mini Nintendo. Well, you you go ahead with your mini Nintendo. <laughs> no I also games, got you know, Nintendo. Nintendo, <laughs> the Nintendo um, DS. They gonna have your Netflix, Hulu, and YouTube on there. So yeah, I know my kid is gonna want one. Shoot, man! Yeah, definitely. Yeah, oh, man, that's the thing. I I I can. I always say it like if I had kids. Like before they get the latest game system, they gotta earn their way up. Like, yeah, that's what I said. No, dog. No, no, you gotta start all the way back at an Atari. Like I wish they <laughs> I wish they bring out a, a system that's like where you can play Atari and stuff on it, you know, like old Atari games. But you know, as far as they go back is the NES. But like if they gotta start at the NES, you know, that's what's gonna happen. But before you get work your way up to the three D games, you gonna have to know your you're gonna have to know your history, homeboy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm saying I'm, I'm, I feel the same way you feel. I'm like, my son, I'm Dad, like, he don't look right. He's only in so many graphics. He's like, he don't. Oh no, nah, you gotta get used to that NES before you work your way up to 16 bits, which is Sega. That's why you start him at three, man. You start him at three. They don't care. <laughs> <laughs> my son does not care. He will sit there and play it. Um, keep with the theme of you Nintendo. Know that Mario. Oh, huh? What'd you say? Oh, I often say you gonna be walking around. My kid gonna be walking around singing the Mario theme. They gonna shoot. He already shoot. He already recognized Mario. He been playing that Mario Run on an iPad, so he already already into Mario. He recognized like he came on the. They showed the um, Switch commercial. He Mario. So you know he knows Mario. Yeah, I I was so pissed off. I paid them ten dollars for that Mario uh, Run. Cause I thought I was gonna get some more stages after stage six. Yeah, nah, they man. hit me with that, that fuckery. <laughs> like no dice. <laughs> nice. You you you. Um. Also, keeping the thing with Nintendo. <clears throat> so Nintendo has decided not to do an E three presentation this year at E three, which I think is a humongous mistake by for Nintendo to do this because. I mean, yeah, they sold. Well, I think the the Switch they so far they've sold two point five million in what two months? Yeah, two months. Um, so I think it kind of kills their momentum. I mean, <clears throat> the right thing for them to do was to do an E three conference to show, okay, this is what we have coming out. This is what we got going on. You know, we just launched. We got these are the games that'll be coming on the new 
uh 2ds xl as well like this is your chance to like really like okay we really got games coming out with them not doing that it's kind of like it's like the same the same stuff nintendo's been doing oh we're gonna do our little corny they always screw up at e3 yeah it's like they all we're gonna do a little corny corny video that nobody really really gets it has a lot of japanese humor that nobody gets or we can barely it's hard to understand well yeah that i'm like what (laughs) (laughs) say yeah that <laughs> but yeah, I think it's a big mistake for them to do that. I think being as good as the Switch has been selling, they should hopefully they change their mind in the next two months. I mean, I mean the next what in the next month or so. I mean, it's possible that they can. So, but hopefully they decide to do something because I think it'll be a show of good faith to people who bought the Switches that you know they do have a a roadmap plan of what's coming out. Because at this point, all we yeah. know right now it's you had Mario universe. Kart just came out. Then you had Zelda on launch, and now you got to wait to dog on in November for Mario Odyssey. What's in between that? Mm-hmm. Like what? Like you got to give us a timeline of what what what's to come. Um, I know summer. You know, summer's always a dead spot for for games, so we we get that. Um, but man, they got to do something. They got to show something. Um, all right. I know we missed this particular topic last week. Um, Batgirl. So I know we spoke and said talked about Josh uh, Whedon saying he's in the works or in the talks of doing a bad girl film. Um, mm-hmm. Who are some people or ladies that could potentially play bad girl? Kick ass hit girl. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though I do see her as a Supergirl too, but I don't know. I think she has the attitude. She has more the attitude. For Barbara. Yeah. yeah, Barbara yeah. Gordon. Yeah, I like Man, her attitude. you took the words better. right out of my mouth. Yeah. Like, I could see her pulling Supergirl off because of the blonde hair, but she has more of the attitude for Barbara Gordon. See, Barbara was kind of tough, so yeah. I think she would be an awesome Batgirl. Yeah, and she kind of hinted on her tweet about the whole bad girl situation. She like put up some little devil um, emojis. So I think she's trying to get it, y'all. I hope so, because that's she's like really the only. When you all said that, I'm like I was trying to think of some people. that's like, I mean, when you say that name, I'm like, yeah, she could do that. She's young enough uh-huh. where she can actually, yep. you know be in the role for for a long time and not be like well i want to go because you know how some actors get man like i want to i want to branch out and do something else and be different and stuff like that or I, I don't want this to consume me and not only be known for this like tom welling smallville just saying right i wanted to flash get him but he was really but thing is though he was really old to begin with he was like in his 30s playing a teenager on Smallville, he was not young at all. He just looked young. And then after he got done with the show, you still go look up a Google picture of him now, man. He looks getting gray hair and stuff like that. So it, it's, it's yeah, I mean, he's he's good. We I think we but good he could have played. Cowboy. He still could have played Superman. He he could have been like they could have, even though Kryptonians age slower because you know by the time Bruce died, you know Superman looked like he probably like in his forties. Yeah, so, you man, you got know, the magic of TV and makeup, so yeah, they could have. Yeah, he they could have dyed his hair and made him look a little younger. He still could have played Superman. You know, man, what I'm saying? my wife, like, my wife is... definitely has an issue with that Superman or Supergirl. Man, she does not like him. She's like he ugly. Uh, <laughs> I still see him as Derek off a of Teen Wolf. He <laughs> he does not look like a Superman to me. Yeah, he he's it's just his build is like cause you know and you know what the thing is and I called it when we was watching it one day when he sh- the first couple episodes he showed I was like I said you know what it is every single person that plays Superman has broad shoulders he has no broad shoulder that's what makes him look weird <laughs> his shoulders are just like normal like, he's like normal he's like normal people shoulders like he doesn't have like he's not like built up top where he has broad shoulders to make his you know it's Superman like Superman has broad shoulders. And that's a yeah. that's a Superman trait because they draw Superman with broad shoulders. Yeah, it, right. it's just like with Batman. Like anybody that plays Batman has to have broad shoulders. Right. Right. It was just funny 
when I got older and I started paying attention to movie magic mm-hmm. that, you know, they made Michael Keaton on Batman look like he was actually tall. Tall? And, uh-huh. Yeah. But Michael Keaton is like checkmate size, like two, three. <laughs> This motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, Even with um, Bane, Bane. Um, oh yeah, Tom Hardy was really sh- Hardy is, is, is really short. Sure short. I don't know what. Yeah. They made that fool look like he was like seven feet yeah. tall. Exactly. I swear, y'all, I don't like that Bane that's in the la- the last Bane they did. I I like the the Bane from. The sucky Batman movie. You with like Poison the mindless, You like the you like the mindless one that that all he does is you know grumble and grunts. That's the, that's the Bane you like. Because this one was like they made Bane too intelligent, and then his voice, like his voice was worse than um <laughs> old boy's like voice. I didn't than have a problem. Batman. Didn't, you know what? I didn't have a problem with that voice. It kind of caught me off guard in the in the Man, intro of the movie. In, and it I was sound like, like he would have mouthwash in his mouth talking. Yeah, hmm. it's like, it's like what? <laughs> I didn't. Know, I didn't have. I didn't have a problem with that. I, I actually did. I actually did like that bang. Um, I like the bang. I did too. I, I didn't need. I didn't because like when you think of bang, you thinking of some skinny dude that pumps himself up and gets real big, and you know he got the the the, the tubes and stuff going. To his head and stuff like that, but that you was know. like a because but that but the, the Batman's that you're talking about that they were more comic book, comic booky if that's even a word. Yeah, but I the know, Christopher I know Nol- what you're saying. but the Nolan's world was more lifelike. So if there, yeah. so basically Nolan's take on it was like if there were to be a Bane in real life, he's gonna be this dude that was in prison that was pumping iron, right. which makes sense. So it's different. So it's different takes on it. I mean, that's just like, you know, Mister Freeze probably wouldn't have made sense in a Nolan's Batman film. I mean, all the characters and the villains that he was trying to use, you know, you could, in a sense, if you just, you know, suspension of belief, you can think that okay, Scarecrow, for example, could exist. All it is is just toxic gas that makes you hallucinate. There's crap in the world that if you Enough, enough of it. You would hallucinate and see the shit that Scarecrow <laughs> would like. You see, you would see human. Yeah, like checkmate favorite drug. Yeah, that Queen cocaine. <laughs> cocaine is all drug. First of all, your breath is invisible cocaine. So we're gonna even talk about that hazard that's coming out your mouth, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Um, let's see real quick. Uh, what else we got? Um, rumored. Um. PS5 in 2018. I think that's too early. Too soon. Yeah, me too. Too soon. Too soon. <clears throat> we already had the Pro last year. We had a Scorpio this year. And then um, people saying like, it's, well, it's just been rumored, but people are saying like, oh, they're going to do that to counter the Scorpio. But man, we ain't even seen no gameplay from the Scorpio. So Nothing. No, nah, nothing. And I don't think... PlayStation 4, because you know how, I mean, I don't think PlayStation 4 is even fully tapped into its power yet, to be honest. Really, it hasn't. Like, with the processing system and graphics card and everything, and the PlayStation 4 and the updates they always doing, like, it just recently did an update. But the thing is, like, it got so much farther to go because of the technology that's in it, releasing a new game now. Like, they should do... Exactly like they did with the PlayStation. You know how long the play the first PlayStation was out before the two came out. Like yeah. it's always a ten year. It's always a ten year life cycle. That's been that's yeah. always been PlayStation's motto is the ten year life cycle. And I'm pretty sure the yeah. four is going to be around. But what year did the three? I mean, the four come out. Four came out what twenty fourteen, twenty thirteen, twenty thirteen. Yeah, in the twenty thirteen, twelve around. Yeah. It's only been out four years. That's mm-hmm. it got a, it needs six more years before it, it actually max out. Mm, I, well, I would say before we go to the next generation, um, <coughs> since we're what we're in the what fourth year now, yeah, yeah, yeah. like the fourth year, I give it probably, I give it like two more years before we get a five. 
because it always it always drops like the next generation always drops in like the the sixth or seventh year, and you have like two now, or three more years of that of that other console before it goes now, away officially. Who who is making the Scorpio actually? Oh, uh, Microsoft. Well, that's the code name. Okay. It's not called the Scorpio. That's just the code Scorpio. name. Uh, they just like how the sixty four was called the Dolphin, Dolphin before it came yeah. out. Yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah. just the code name for it right now. Um. But yeah, no, nah, I think that's too early with everything. We've been getting these, you know, these intermental upgrades with the pro and all this other stuff. I, mean, I think they can yeah. just, I think they can just hold like, up. Like, for example, man, I don't know if y'all seen, like, if you go look up, go to YouTube and, hook, and look up Days Gone. It's a zombie uh, shooter from, um, I want to say the same people that made Last of Us. I think it's just the ones that made it. For to see that many zombies on screen at one time is crazy. And it's a PlayStation exclusive. So I'm just saying, mm-hmm. and then we're supposed to be in the Last of Us too as well. So I'm like, mm, nah, and I'm then gonna... you know, I think this last update, like they they trying to make it where they send the update, whereas uh, if you got a regular PlayStation Four and not the Pro, like your game would be able to um, be 4K compatible. No, I mean, well, the patches they've been coming out would have been. I mean, the 4K patches have been primarily for the Pro, but you gotta have you gotta have the you got to have the TV to be able to experience the... Yeah, yeah. You got to have the H- HDR, uh, you got to have an HDR processor in your television for it to really, really truly see it, so... <clears throat> um, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite trailer came out last Thursday. And, uh, I was just... And the thing is, I was just thinking about this game after playing Ultra Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And, uh, looks really good. I mean... It's just it's an updated version of the current, you know, current iteration that we had some years ago. Uh, the villain for this particular game is going to be Ultron, and Ultron actually merges with a Mega Man villain called Sigma and becomes Ultron Sigma. Um, so those what? Are the, yeah, <laughs> yep. yeah, um, that would be yeah. pretty cool. <clears throat> and then you got uh, as far as the characters that we kind of have confirmed based on the trailer. Uh, Captain America, Captain Marvel, Hawkeye, Hulk, Iron Man, uh, Rocket Raccoon, Thor, um, said Ultron, uh, Ryu, Chris Redfield, Chun Li, Mega Man X, um, Morgan, Aslan, uh, Strider, and of course you have a separate. Um, they say Sigma's supposed to be like a DLC character, so that'd be a character. Initial Why character. won't they put my boy on Marvel vs. <clears throat> Capcom? Who say Why he ain't gonna not hit? Who who say he not gonna be in Marvel's Capcom? Because okay, let's because he's about, never been in one. But, okay, but let's think about this real quick. Okay, you see the model how they do Street Fighter Five, right? You got yeah. season one, season two passes with them coming out with characters. Who say they not gonna come out with Ken as yeah, in like, right in like an, in like I in a format like that? Especially being it been successful for Street Fighter with those passes like that, how they've been doing. How they've been coming out with characters. I can see Marvel. I, mean, I can see Capcom doing a similar thing with this game and kind of like slowly trickling out additional characters uh, within the game that we've never seen. Plus, with hear, the movies coming out too. Yeah, because I didn't hear Deadpool or right. Uh, Dante. Right. You know. Yeah, I, I mean, we could, we could, and I'm pretty sure we're going to probably get Zero. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to get Wolverine, but we're going to probably get an old man Logan version of Wolverine in the game. So, pretty sure that's gonna probably be a thing in uh, Marvel's Capcom. Pretty sure they're gonna do that. Okay, so tell me this: Is it like did they show did they show gameplay from it in the video? Not, and you know they do the typical how Marvel Capcom they do the, the typical uh, CG trailer, but they there there is some gameplay out there. They least they released it the following day, which is like their Friday. So there is some gameplay out there of the um, of different different matchups and stuff like that that they came out with that Friday. Okay, because the, uh, the, the, my my main problem with uh, Marvel Cap versus Capcom is the the confusion. You know, it's like it's wild. It's it's too wild. Like, well, they did they shortened they shortened down the uh it's not 3v3 anymore. It's 2v2. It's just tag. Which that should cut down on some of that of some of that craziness with the, um, you know, just as long as it's not like Street Fighter cross Tekken. <laughs> mm, I mean, I ain't had no, well, I ain't had no problem with it. That, 
that Street Fighter cross Tekken with the tag mode, what well, everything about the game sucked. Yeah, like, all right, I liked it. I liked it. <clears throat> you're very critical of fighting games, huh? Yeah, you, you, that, yeah you really are. Yeah. If they ain't like Street Fighter, you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't Street Fighter, I don't want it. <laughs> I mean, I like uh, I like the I like Dragon Ball and Naruto games. Yeah, I mean, but they all made by Bandai Namco, and you know that's another thing with um yeah. since we you know just to slide in anime real quick on that on that tip, um I wish that like because Bandai Namco has been making you know a lot of the anime games for a long time. I would like to see somebody else, another gaming studio, get their hands on that license and do something with it. Cause they make the same. I mean, the games yeah. are the same. Their games yeah, are. Yeah, they business. make them all the same, basically. Yeah, the, the Gundam one I showed you, I think that's made by Bandai as well. So in I the mean, Gundam one, it looks like the tra- it looks like the Transformer game, yeah. the, the the Transformer versus game. Yeah. Like I said, man, I think the High Moon needs to get their hands on that uh that Gundam license, man. I think they'll do. I think they'll do that sucker justice, man. Um. Speaking of Dragon Ball, young, uh, tell us about this uh, previous Dragon Ball Super episode. I've been kind of reading about this, it. This, <clears throat> this Dragon Ball Super episode was turned up. Let me tell y'all, Gohan is back. And when I say Gohan is back, I'm talking about Gohan that we grew up on is back. Not that weak. Sorry. I want to study Gohan. Chi Chi's no. Gohan. Yeah, not Chi Chi's Gohan. I'm talking about Piccolo's Gohan. Mm-hmm. Piccolo basically, in so many words, said, You a bitch. Your mama a bitch. Your dad a bitch. <laughs> now come do something about it. <laughs> like, seriously, dog, because Gohan felt it. He, Piccolo pushed him until he uh, went up into his back to his, uh, his, uh, Damn, I was going to say the Japanese name for it, but uh, Mystic Gohan. We gonna yeah, just say that. yeah, Mystic Gohan, yeah. Yeah, so like he turned, and then Piccolo said, they like, they got nine hours before the tournament. Piccolo said, told Gohan, once he went Mystic again, he was like, and you can go further. He was like, in the time we got left, do you want to see if you can reach another level? I'm like, yo, like go hub for the for the turn up, but I figured that because of the fact that they gave Trunks a new level in the Black Goku saga, which was that Saiyan Rage mode, and then the fact that they've been hitting that Goku got another level from the Android 17 uh, when he went to recruit Android 17. Like at the end of their fight, Android 17 said, "I know you were still holding back," and um. Even when they showed the intro, Goku um, does this red flash, like a flash of red energy, and he, you know, shoots through it. So it's like, I, what I'm thinking happened is Goku got a, my theory is Goku learned how to harness the actual God mode, whereas he keeps his regular hair and he um, slams down and, you know, he doesn't use as much stamina, but he has the power. You know what I'm saying? I always like thought that was, when, when I first saw mirrors. them. Um, when I first saw them do the whole little, when they was like trying to figure out how to get him to Super Saiyan God mode, I'm like, yeah. I'm saying to myself when I was watching this, I'm like, knowing this fool Goku, he gonna figure out how to do that shit without them. Yeah, and then see the thing is with this um, Vegeta, uh, like a lot of people don't know, don't didn't pay attention during the Black Goku saga. Vegeta went in the hyperbolic time chamber after Black Goku kicked their ass. And Vegeta figured out how to increase his stamina and speed um, using Super Saiyan God, the blue mode, super, the um, blue Super Saiyan God mode, which was, and when Vegeta came out, he had basically went, to me, in my opinion, he, because you know, in Super Saiyan God mode right now, well, in past, they just were regular Super Saiyans. But the difference in, in when Vegeta came out the hyperbolic time chamber was Vegeta looked like a Super Saiyan 2 in God mode. And so, like, Vegeta figured out how to do it because he basically told Black Goku, he was like, you got the stamina, but you don't have the speed. So, you know, he figured out how to increase his stamina and speed 
And that's the drawback with um, the Super Saiyan God mode. Like, they can get to it easily, and they have the speed, but their stamina is... Eat, but it eats up their stamina, so that's why they don't never really stay in it super long, and that's why they seem kind of weaker. So, but back to Gohan, like, I want I really want to see what Gohan new level gonna be, because, like, like, the Gohan that we've been seeing so far in Super, you know, like, everybody was talking bad about Gohan, like, niggas was just like, this nigga suck. <laughs> but, uh, you know, once he went mystic, it was like, yeah, now he back. So, I mean, I'm ready, though. And okay. I, I just wish in this they'll do more with Goten and Trunks. You know, Goten and Trunks, they they just basically let them be kids so far. Like, Goku and Vegeta won't let them fight or nothing. I've been hearing something about, um, I don't know if you know anything about this. I've been hearing something about, like, I saw it somewhere. I don't know if it was an anime site I was looking on. Um, talking about something going into a different, I guess, like, this this particular saga is about to end and going to, like, a, what's called Saiyan Island, something like that? Uh, no, because this, and I think Neely, I mean, Tinka agree with me on this. This tournament is about the last, probably, until the winter. Mm-hmm. You know, this 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 saga because the the tournament of power saga it's go because you gotta deal with all these different different universes. They gave us a preview in the last episode to the female Broly, which is they put her in because the actual Broly isn't canon. So and they her name is uh, Khalif, Khalifa, which is actually cauliflower, cauliflower, and you know Broly's name translated into broccoli. Broccoli, really? So y'all mm-hmm. see the difference? Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you know, I like the way they did that. So you know, oh, I, I'm just Kakarot. Well, you know, carrot. all the same Kakarot, Vegeta, vegetable. Yep. You know. <laughs> freaking the freaking fighting vegetables radish. over here, man. Yeah, radish oh. is a you know a radish napa yeah. napa cabbage. Wow, I did, okay got the freaking fighting vegetables over here. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. I always thought about that though. I was like, Vegeta, Vegeta vegetable. Bardock, man. Like, what does Bardock name mean? Um, yeah, that's a, that's that. We got to think on that one. I don't know. <clears throat> that's a good one. Um, X Men. Um, I know last week we was talking about the Fox announced um uh, three films they'll be coming out with next year. Um, <clears throat> the one I wanted to talk about was uh Dark Phoenix, and so um I know CBR had like an article up talking about like must haves for for X Men, and I even said on their on their little um like the countdown they had like things they must have in dark Phoenix. And first thing I said was like space. I think X-Men has been, they've done a lot of earth stuff long enough. And I think them going to space in the dark Phoenix, um, and the dark Phoenix movie would be perfect being that of course you got like gardens of the galaxy has already done it and shown that it's, you know, it's something that can be a, <clears throat> that can be achieved. And, um, just all the stuff that you guys remember from back in the day from the X Men animated series when they went to the Phoenix Saga, uh, yeah. when they went against the uh, I think it's the alien race is called the Shira. Yeah, that's what they call the the Shira. Um, when they mm-hmm. went against when they went against that race as well in that in that particular saga, and they wanted to they wanted their power they wanted her powers for themselves and stuff like that. Um, I think they also mentioned stuff like um. Like the Hellfire Club should could show back up because I mean, even though Sebastian's died in the the first movie or whatever, but they can they were saying like, you know, they can incorporate and bring back Emma Frost and she'd be the leader of Hellfire Club because she was in Hellfire Club too. Um, so stuff like that. I think they should really venture into doing that. Um just to make it make it a little bit make it feel a little bit more epic. Cause I think, for example, Thor Ragnarok. Now that it's going into space, 
throw movies seem so much more bigger than they than they did before than just being everything taking place in Asgard. And I think like X Men going into space would be would kind of take it to that next level as far as movie yeah. goes. Yeah, I feel y'all that. Oh, but I got the meaning to what Bardock mean. What? Bardock mean Bardock is a type of root. Ah, so it goes along okay. with that. Turles is Tullens in Japanese. And the rearrangement of characters for lettuce. So okay. that's what, you know, Tullens or Turles, you know, if they rearrange the letters, it, you get lettuce. Okay. And like I said, Napa is Chinese for cabbage. Okay. Yeah. Well, those, yeah, I never would have thought about the whole Broly thing. I mean, uh, Bardock thing. All right, man. Um, We're going to run through just some real quick news because I think that's what I say. That's pretty much it for all the topics that we got. Oh, this. let me get one thing out. Okay. It's one thing I'm excited about, and it comes out in September. That's the new Under It 20. movie. Oh. <laughs> This boy said the new Twinkie. Oh, shit. The new Strawberry Twinkie coming out. I thought you I thought you, I thought you told my dad. My bad. My bad. You know, yeah. I don't even know. I don't even eat Twinkies. Hey, anyway. I'm you don't. But go ahead. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, the, uh, the new It movie comes out. I'm a, I wasn't so sure about it at first, but after I saw the preview, I got sold. And um, Man, I'm traumatized from It from back in the day, man. My mom had the book. That crap traumatized the heck out of me. I don't want to miss that. And that's the thing. This they they say the TV series that came out when we were kids. You know, a lot of people say I've never read the book, but a lot of people say it's not true to the book, and that this new movie is true to the book. So me being a person that I am, of course, I went and downloaded the book so I could read the book, so I know, you know. If the new movie is true to the book, because like after I watched the first Harry Potter, like I had to go watch, uh, read the Harry Potter books, you know, so I'll be able to keep up with the saga and whatnot. And those are some thick ass books. Like, <laughs> like I, I mean, shit. Speaking of books, I ain't though, that much reading all 12 years of, of, of uh, school. <laughs> No, nah, me neither. I don't even like to read. Um, speaking of books, though, um, run down a list real quick um, of some comics that uh, some top comics for this week, uh, courtesy of IGN. Um, if you want to get into reading comics or, you know, you just want to I know some of us here want to probably dab into comics. But this, these the ones I put down on this list are the first issues so you can really actually jump into them or without feeling like you're like behind or figure out about a bunch of issues. Um, they got Injustice 2, number one, which is actually going to give you insight on the prequel bef- of the events that lead to the Injustice 2 video game, which I'm thinking about probably going to a comic book shop next weekend or this weekend and probably picking that up. Uh, and a lot of these I'm about to name are physical copy right now. They always delay them before they come out on digital. So um, you got Dream- Jean Grey, number one, Bane Conquest, number one, Black Bolt number one secret empire we just talked about that on a couple episodes back which is where um captain america is the leader of hydra and he's captain america and he's the leader of hydra so that's a that's a different very very different dynamic that they're going with in this particular series and i heard it's pretty good so i'm thinking but that's probably another one i may uh dab into as well and you got young blood number one and all new guardians of the galaxy number one so if you're looking to get into comics i will say those would be a good place to start um <clears throat> i'm definitely thinking about picking up the secret empire black bolt and the um the injustice 2 comic um the physical comic um and then some other quick things real quick um Marvel Heroes Omega closed beta is going on right now. You can actually go over to GameStop and get a free beta code. I just did my actual beta is downloaded right now on my PS4. So if you want to go check that out, um, they got that going on. Um, I'm doing a, I'm going to be doing an Injustice um, Twitch stream next Saturday, 10 o'clock uh, p.m. 
um, just to get ready for the new ingest that comes out on the 16th. And then we also, this past weekend, I redesigned the, the Twitch page. So make sure you guys go over there and check that out. There's actually a schedule now. So, you know, when we'll go live and stuff like that times and all that good stuff. So make sure you guys head over to, uh, twitch.tv forward slash nerdflow gaming to go check that out. Um, make sure you guys catch all the new episodes of nerdflow every single Thursday on Sprinker, iTunes, Stitcher radio, Google play. Please make sure you guys go by the Facebook page, like the page, in addition to that, you guys may want to make sure you guys keep your eyes on our Twitch, um, our, on our Twitter and Facebook, because we'll be starting a contest for uh, Loot Crate as well. So you want to know how to do that. You may want to keep your eyes on that starting. The contest will be starting this Monday. And if you're in Houston, please make sure you guys come out to Comic Palooza. Uh, come check us out. Come come chill with us. We'll be doing a live stream from the event as well and we may be having some special interviews as well um mm-hmm. while we're there so please make sure you keep your eyes peeled on that our facebook live will be probably going bonkers uh next weekend so please make sure you guys keep your keep your eyes on that and uh i think this is it for issue 12 y'all all righty all righty guys. Alrighty, we out of here Ma. Ma. <laughs>